precious life. Every breath is measured by the captain of my soul. Precious time, every moment fragile, too brief for me to hold. Giver of life. All cubbies or refrigerators, sink, stove, microwave, I mean self-sustaining. It's really a home away from home. So this is known as the South Courtyard and it's called the Healing Gardens. If you look down this way here, you see some plants and trees. It's a very, it's a very pristine place, very peaceful. Over here, this is the multi-purpose conference room. And this really comes into play for support for families while they're here. We have family uh, support groups um, as well. One of the neat things here is a lot of parents, you know, they spend the night at the hospital with their, with their child. They want to come to a place, get a shower, get cleaned up, get cleaned. They come up in the morning, towels are supplied. Everything they need, uh, toiletries, soap, shampoos, hair dryers, irons, uh, shower caps, toothbrush, deodorant, it's all donated. So parents come over here and get refreshed in their spirit and go back and spend some time with each other. So here's a playroom for kids to come in while their uh, siblings might be getting some uh, work on the hospital. Uh, parents come in here and relax, it's very pristine. So I want to go into the gym right here. Uh, parents can come in, work off a little stress, work off some of those um, negative things that might be going on. They come in here, got a TV, treadmill, some weights over here. So essentially this is the internet cafe. Let's say you're a parent here, you need to pay your bills online, you need to check on airline stuff. Uh, parents come in here and do that. This is the classroom here. I can come here, there's a teacher that is certified in San Diego County to teach K through 12. So everything is covered for the child and their education needs if they're over here while a brother or sister's in the hospital, they can stay on top of academics. So here's a chapel for religious practices if they decide, you know, they want to take part while they're here. Uh, there's actually a chap uh, staff chaplain here. Can you come in? Is there some sort of like um, after care program where they have to come here or does uh, anyone come here if their child is here? Uh, if their child is here, they can usually talk with a social worker and a housing coordinator and they can make it work that way. And uh, usually the wait time, I, I haven't seen anybody have to really wait for a home. So uh, it's pretty quick. Yeah. Um, some parents plan, they know their child's gonna be here say in July, for example. They're making plans now to make sure there's a place for them to stay. Uh, family members, grandparents, they can stay as well as long as their name is on the list. And it just sort of works out very well for them. So. change of clothes, come here and get everything they need while they're here. Yeah. Uh, when we go to the beauty salon, I'll show you where the clothing is. We have clothing, brand new clothing that's donated. And let's say you need a jacket in your size, your size, your size, we'll give you a jacket to wear while you're here. A pair of pants, socks, uh, underwear, t-shirts, it's all here for you. Uh, the day restroom is for the parent that's maybe been at the hospital all night and they don't have a room here, but they want to come take a nap here for a couple hours, up to three hours and come here, take a rest. Uh, to, you know, shut the door up to three people, have their own little piece of So what is unique about this beauty salon is, one is a sign-up sheet, but number two, local hairstylists in the area, and some well-known uh, hair salons will come in and do the hair for moms and sisters and daughters that are here. And then right behind me here, these are some of the clothes I was talking about. Some of these are from Old Navy. We get stuff from Old Navy, we get stuff from Ross, Paid Glass. Uh, they just donate clothes. And this is just some of it to my story in the back. But to know that if I get here and I'm in a crisis, all my needs are going to be met. And that's what the Ronald, Ronald McDonald House really says to me, that no matter what needs you have, it's always going to be met. Whether it's food, clothing, shelter, it's all here for you. And if people come in and they can't pay the $40 donation to stay here, it's okay. Because there's other organizations that will help offset the cost. For example, the uh, Pennies for the Purpose. Some of those Pennies for a Purpose actually go for lodging. Pennies for a purpose will cover the lodging cost. The average lodging cost per night is about $175. $175. Parent comes in, they don't have to worry about paying that because people like yourselves and other organizations are going to meet those needs. So it's really, really unique. Uh, the pop tab thing, I remember that as a kid, 
back in the day when I was a kid, and I remember doing bringing bags to school all the time. So the pennies with a purpose is definitely, definitely on track. This is known as the South Court, uh, North Courtyard, and basically it's just a playground for the kids. There's a basketball hoop down there. There's some more rooms as well. And there's uh, one of the things that's um, sort of unique to see is uh, when a when a child is being discharged, the parents actually have anxiety and there's some excitement to get the child out of the hospital. So when they check out. Uh, they're excited to take the child home, so we're excited for them, yeah. and they just want to be able to make that transition and go home, and you know, leave this experience behind, even though it was had benefit, you know, just to move on and make that healthy transition back into a healthy uh, lifestyle for the child. <laughs> Volunteer options. There's so many to do. I mean, honestly, if you want to come in and just and till the garden out there, I they mean, will never turn you. They will down. never turn yeah. you away. You want to come down and just. You know, touch up paint, Susan, the Gwen, she'll find something for you because you're actually, you want to take that time to do that for the organization. I am just one voice, but one voice can still be heard. I have made the choice to seal my witness with my word. Changed by holy fire that has burned into my soul. Filled with a new desire that calls me now to go.